so Patch, three years a scholar, numerous years before that uh, as an academy player, bit of an end of an era, mate, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's been an absolutely fantastic experience. I mean, I've been coming here since I was 11. Uh, started off Friday nights, worked my way up through the ranks. Um, three years as a scholar, been an absolute whirlwind. Had three unbelievable coaches in Hesse, Spills and Watty. You know, all our different coaching techniques, different formations and whatnot. Um, and it's just made me become better and better as the time's gone on. Uh, I can't thank them enough. And it's one of those experiences you don't want to end being a part of this football academy as a player. Um, but let alone on the coaching side of things. So yeah, as a player, it's been unbelievable. And I do have to say, and I'm not saying it's just be nice, I'd say your progression from where you started as a scholar to now has really been quite remarkable in a way. Would you agree with that? Yeah, it's been. I, I put a lot of hard work and determination into the way um, the way I've been playing. You know, I've taken on board with Spills and Hesse taught me in my first year. Um, Spills last year, my second year, and then even more with Watty this year. Um, learning more of the uh, actual semi-pro side of the game, um, the technical side with Spills. Uh, but yeah, a lot of hard work, a lot of graft, but it just shows that it's able to come to anyone. They put their mind to it and they listen to what their coaches are telling them um, and they make sure they're doing things properly, not mucking around and you know doing drills properly and when they're asked to do their certain things or go away and do individual stuff, especially at the age I am now and the age these scholars are coming in, by the time they turn 16 you should be hitting the gym and working on your own personal development and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it has been an absolute whirlwind and uh, I can't thank the boys enough about how well I've done and uh, where I am now compared to how I used to be. And obviously alongside that, you've really come on done really well in your coaching as well and a staple down here at Mostyn on Mondays and Fridays. Yeah, I can't, I can't thank Dino enough, um, Dean Ruddy. He's, um, I got put into the forefront by Rads and Spills, you know, they come up and they spoke to me and said, you know, uh, we want you to take uh, your own sessions now, we feel that like you're developed enough as a player and a coach um, and the experience has been unbelievable. It's, uh, it's an eye-opener for a player as well, I think a lot of players don't realise that it's an eye-opener because whilst you're coaching you pick up things that they do and you think, actually, you know what, I do that as well and it helps you develop as a player and then overall develop as a coach. Um, and it's been an unbelievable experience. I mean, I can't thank, as I said, I can't thank Dino enough um, for his guidance and obviously for coaching me when I was younger. Um, yeah, it's been unbelievable. I mean, I love coaching the boys. They're all a pleasure to coach, uh, both uh, across both centres at Mapleston and at Brompton. Uh, yeah, it's been brilliant. And uh, obviously while you've been coaching, we've seen a few, uh, few boys actually go and get signed uh, Maybe it's down to you, maybe it wasn't, but you must be pleased with that. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, Joby and Henry, um, I was ecstatic when, when I got the news. Uh, it might be down to me, it might not be. I like to think that it was, um, but they do well in their own uh, club side of things, obviously. We, uh, Henry was working with Rich at his club side, and Joby was working hard with his coaches. Um, but when they both come in, they will learn, they listened, um, and it just showed from a young age, doesn't matter. You know, if they work hard, they listen to their coaches they can start getting it from early doors and they're really starting to kick on now. I've seen Henry recently uh, and I can tell a massive difference in him since I first started coaching him, uh, even to when he left to go and be a pro player uh, to what he is now. So, yeah, it's hard work and determination from a younger age. It still happens. So, yeah, fantastic boy, Miles ecstatic. And back onto the playing side, obviously last year you were with uh, Harlow Town. Uh, what are your plans for this season? Uh, plans for this season is to stay at Harlow. Um, I've had a few conversations with the manager. Um, you know, I loved last season, whether it, it was just a learning curve for me as a player, going to a higher level than I was playing. Um, you know, I managed to get my last game of the season uh, away at Leatherhead. You know, uh, obviously the other side managed by Jimmy Bullard, you know, in front of a big crowd. It was an unbelievable experience, like such a young lad. You know, playing with Sonko, you know, someone who's had a full season's worth of experience in the Prem. Uh, play alongside Charlie Dickens and Tommy Fagg, both used to play for Soccer Elite. You know, it's a lovely setting and uh, it's a brilliant club and I can't wait for next season to start. Uh, hopefully we can kick on and I might get a few more games under my belt. And lastly, obviously actually we've been saying you've been at sea for such a long time, is there any sort of really standout memory you've had? Uh, standout memory? Uh, I can't pick up one but if I really had to, um, it would be the Gillingham game recently in my third year where we drew two all, fantastic game of football to watch or when we played against Norwich at Harlow Town, uh, quite possibly one of my best games and I played for Soccer Elite and uh, one of the moments of which the Harlow managers and staff actually picked up on me watching the game. Um, we won, I think it was 3 or 4-1. Uh, it was a fantastic game and I had a personally good performance and I don't think I'll ever forget that game. So yeah, that's one of them. But yeah, it's been I can't, I can't pinpoint one, but if I had to, that's one to put my finger on.